Hello. We worked yesterday on Hound Dog by Elvis. The chords are very easy. Probably the first three chords you ever learned. We have a C, an F, and a G7. Remember the easiest way to get from a C to a G7 is to slide up here and just drop these two fingers up. So the chords are very easy. The strum is what's the challenge. We slowed it way down. It's going to end up sounding like this. We slowed it way down and figured out that the motions are down, chuck, whoops, sorry, down, chuck, up. So try it with me, just one uh, rotation of it. Ready, and down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. And you can rewind it and do that as many times as you want. Now I'm gonna do it four times in a row. Two, ready, and. So you practice, if you think of it that way, if you really need to um, know exactly what the hands are doing, start off slowly and then kind of build it up. Another way to get, learn that strum is just to play along with it. So I'm going to play a few times through right now the fast version, only on the C chord. One, two, ready, go. it if you just can't get that is basically just do down up with the, the accents kind of in the places where the chucks are. <clears throat> so you work on that the strum is the tricky part the second thing that we learned that was a little challenging was the word mine we do what uh, they do on the video is a drum but on the ukulele it's four sets of triplets. Da, 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 da. has to do what we've worked so hard not to do um, this whole time I always say hand needs to moving be moving down on the strong beat on the down beat triplets a little different sometimes they come the strong beat is when your hand is going up so the way all of that looks is beginning of the song on a C one two starts with just the chord Let's try it again from the beginning. One, two, ready, just the chord. triplets that's fine we'll get there but make sure we end together if we all end in the same place it looks like we meant to do exactly what we did um last thing oh yes um instead of just thinking of this as a c and an f and a g7 we talked about the number system 
in a major scale, C is the first note in the scale. C, D, E, F, F, F would be a four. And then C, D, E, F, G would be a five. So instead of calling out C, F, and G7, I was calling out one to a four, which is the F, back to a one. You see? And then the G7, I call a five, seven. Back to a four, which is the F. The reason my, why you might um, need to use that is if we were in a different key, you could still play the chord progression. For example, if we were in the key of D, the first note of the scale would be D. So this is our one. We know it's a four, not necessarily an F this time, but it's a four. So D, E, F. G, a four would be now. Crying all the time, ain't nothing but a hand up. Back to a one. Crying all the time. Now remember what the G7 was called? Five, seven. So the five in a D scale is D, E, F, G, A. We didn't do it in the key of D, but that's just to explain why we were learning the numbers. Alright, that's a lot for you to work on. Have fun.